This weekend, young women from across the state gathered at Thompson High School to compete for the title of Miss Alabama's Teen. After a private interview and preliminaries, the competition was narrowed down to 16 semifinalists Sunday. They competed in health and fitness, talent, evening gown, and answered a series of onstage questions before this year's winner, Allie Mims, was crowned. This has been a dream of mine since I was probably two years old, and so to finally get it and receive it at such an awesome time, I mean, it really was God's timing. I'm, I'm truly so, so grateful and it hasn't fully set in yet. I'm sure it will in about a week, but I can't wait for all the things that are to come. Mims is a junior at Chelsea High School where she's a member of the Beta Club and cheer team. She also spends time volunteering through her community service initiative, Joyful Noise. I provide music education to the special needs community, and what a lot of people don't know is that 76% of schools in our very own state do not offer music education to the special needs students, and so I've always kind of made it my duty to take that 76% down to zero, and I've done that. I wrote a book on Amazon called Make Music with Joy. Um, and so I've been able to personally raise over $18,000 for the Joyful Noise, now official 501c3 nonprofit organization. Mims also showcased her passion for music during the talent portion of competition, taking home the preliminary win in that category along with Evening Gown. I've sang um, an Italian aria called O Mio Babino Caro since I was eight years old. And so I've always kind of told myself if it's not broke, I'm not going to fix it. So I haven't tried, um, but I was so honored honored to win the talent preliminary, especially because my mom won the talent preliminary when she competed in Miss Alabama. And so that was kind of a very sentimental moment for me and for her, and I was kind of able to share that with her. Mims will now take her talents to the Miss America's teen competition. And of course, it's also important to mention she now has her college paid for after this weekend, so a lot to celebrate there.